Think hacking is just typing fast on a black screen? Think again. Today I'm taking you deep into the real world of hacking. No Hollywood drama, just raw, shocking truth. Hacking. It's a word that strikes fear, excitement, and curiosity all at once. But what does hacking actually mean? Is it just about stealing passwords and breaking into systems? Or is there more to it than the media lets on? In this video, we'll break down how hacking really works. From reconnaissance to exploitation, social engineering to ethical hacking. By the end, you'll understand not only how hackers think, but how you can protect yourself in this digital battlefield. At its core, hacking is the act of manipulating a system to behave in ways it wasn't intended to. This can be illegal, what we call black hat hacking, or it can be legal and even ethical, like white hat hacking. There are also gray hat hackers who sit somewhere in between. Hacking isn't always about causing harm. Sometimes it's about uncovering vulnerabilities to strengthen systems. But the methods used are often the same. The difference lies in the intent and permission Hackers think differently. They question systems, look for loopholes, and constantly experiment. Where a normal user sees a login page, a hacker sees an opportunity. Can I bypass this form? Can I manipulate the server? This mindset isn't learned overnight. It comes from curiosity, persistence, and a deep understanding of how technology works. That's why the best hackers aren't just technical, they're creative. They know how to blend logic with intuition. Most successful hacks follow a basic structure. Let's break it down. 1. Reconnaissance. This is where hackers gather information. They might scan for open ports, use Google dorking, or even analyze social media profiles to collect data. 2. Scanning and enumeration. Now they start identifying potential entry points like outdated software, weak firewalls, or exposed APIs. 3. Gaining access. This is the actual exploitation phase. Hackers use tools like Metasploit to deliver payloads that open backdoors or allow command execution. 4. Maintaining access. Once in, they install rootkits or create hidden accounts to ensure they can return later. 5. Covering tracks. Finally, they delete logs, hide their activity, and use proxies or VPNs to erase their trail. Each stage requires different tools and skills. And it's not just about the tech. Sometimes it's about people. Social engineering is hacking the human, not the machine. It's tricking people into giving up access or information. Think phishing emails, fake tech support calls, or shoulder surfing in a coffee shop. One of the most famous hacks, the Twitter Bitcoin scam, wasn't done through fancy coding. It was social engineering. The attacker convinced a Twitter employee to give them access to internal tools. No zero-day exploits, just smart manipulation. It reminds us, humans are often the weakest link. Hackers have a vast arsenal of tools. Here are a few essentials. Nmap, for scanning networks. Wireshark, for packet sniffing. Metasploit, for exploitation. John the Ripper, for password cracking. Burp Suite, for web app testing. They also rely on techniques like SQL injection, cross-site scripting, XSS, and brute force attacks. But tools are just half the story. Understanding how systems interact, like HTTP requests, databases, or memory management, is what separates script kiddies from real hackers. Not all hackers wear hoodies in basements. Many are hired by companies as ethical hackers or penetration testers. Their job? Break into systems before the bad guys do. They follow strict guidelines, report their findings, and help fix the issues. It's a respected and high-paying career. With certifications like CEH, Certified Ethical Hacker, or OSCP, Offensive Security Certified Professional, you can turn your curiosity into a legitimate profession. And yes, 
Some of the world's best ethical hackers were once black hats who decided to switch sides. If you want to learn hacking, start with the basics. Learn networking. Understand TCP, IP, ports, DNS, and firewalls. Learn Linux. Most tools run on Kali Linux or Parrot OS. Learn programming. Python, Bash, and JavaScript are very useful. Use platforms like Try Hack Me, Hack the Box, and Over the Wire. Never test your skills on real systems without permission. Set up your own lab with virtual machines and practice legally. The best hackers are self-taught, but they're also ethical and responsible. Knowledge is power, but it's how you use it that defines you. So hacking isn't just about typing fast or breaking the internet. It's about understanding systems, people, and how to think critically. It's a mix of science, art, and psychology. Whether you want to be a cybersecurity expert or just protect your data, understanding how hacking works is essential. If this opened your eyes, make sure to hit like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. Got questions or want a deeper dive into any part? Drop a comment below. Until next time, stay curious, stay safe.